Hey everybody. First of all, it's lawn day. So if you hear any extraneous noise out there, that's what it is. That actually ties in with something I want to talk about today, which is prepping your house for real estate photography. That is, you're putting it on the market and somebody like me or me, hopefully, is coming by to take some great images of your home to market it. First thing I want to talk about is cleaning the house. And I'm not talking just a little clean, I'm talking OCD clean. As in, pretend you got OCD and that's how clean I want your house. And it's really not for me, it's for you in the ultimate long run because that's going to make your house present better and hopefully sell for more money. And you're going to say, but I don't have OCD. Yeah, right. Everybody's got a little OCD. Clean it like you've got major OCD. I'm talking dusting off the fan blades on your ceiling fans, talking cleaning mirrors, cleaning windows, cleaning clutter off of countertops, everywhere that there's potential clutter, because clutter shows up 10 times worse on camera than it does to the naked eye. Next off, I want you to go around the house and check your light bulbs. Make sure they're all working. If they're not working, change them out. Just make sure you change them out to the same color, meaning that they're all inside balanced, indoor balanced versus daylight balanced, so that you don't have mixed color light bulbs in the same room or on the same fixture, and I've seen that before. So all light bulbs inside and outside the house, functioning and same color whenever possible. This includes fluorescent lighting. Make sure those all work and make sure you replace them with the same color fluorescent bulbs. Also personal items. And this applies mostly to bathrooms, meaning your toothbrushes, any kind of medications, uh, anything that, that clutters up the bathroom, little tiny knickknacks and things like that. Those need to be put away. Again, this shows big time on camera, plus nobody wants to look at your toothbrushes when they're looking at an MLS. And that brings me to the next thing, pet products and pets. We all love our pets. Our pets are part of the family. However, they don't help to sell a house. And in fact, they could hurt a house. So all your doggy stuff, all your kitty stuff like cat beds, dog beds, cat toys, dog toys, uh, bird toys, lizard toys, cages, uh, litter boxes, all that stuff, food, water dishes, all that stuff's got to go. We got to hide it, at least for the photo shoot. We got to hide Fido and Fifi and Mr. Pickles and all that too. They can't be in the shot as much as we want them to be. Pools and lanai's, clean everything up. I cannot stress it enough. Everything's got to be, we're talking, sparkly clean. Because again, your house is not only going to get photographed, it's going to get shown. And that means people are going to be coming in and out all the time. The better your house looks, the better chances are it's going to sell, and hopefully for more money. Last but not least, landscaping, yard work, all that, make sure it's done, make sure it's done. Hopefully time it so that I come in right after the lawns are done, or your photographer comes in after the lawns are done. Make sure that things are picked up around the perimeter of the house. Make sure your exterior lights work. Make sure everything is functional. If they're on timers, if there's a way to bypass the timer so we can turn those things on during the day, even better. Cars in the driveway, make sure you got keys so the cars can be removed. And yes, it happens. It's happened to me on a few shoots where the car is in the driveway, nobody's got a key, so it's got to stay there. Things like that are going to help to make your house present better, look better in person and on camera so that you can get, hopefully, top dollar in this market. These quick tips are going to help to make your house present better, not only in images, but also in person when you have potential buyers come in for showings. Hope this helps. Talk to you again soon.